Oh man, everyone, here we are, here we're going packing. It's Monday, it's time to pack. I leave for Vienna on Thursday. Here's the passport, we're ready to rock and roll with that. Um, but, okay, real quick, if the image on today's vlog looks a little different, or maybe the audio sounds a little different, I'm using a, a different camera because I ran into a slight snag. It's okay, I'm figuring it out as we speak. We adapt, we be flexible, that's what we do here on YouTube. But I'm packing today, yes, Racing, in case you're new, racing my first marathon in Amsterdam on October 20th, but I'm flying early to go film Elliot Kipchoge's attempt to break two hours in the marathon. And quick update that happened today, Monday, is that the window for Kipchoge's attempt has been, has been uh, closed down to October 12th to the 14th because it looks like the weather is uh, is looking is looking good. Um, I don't know they don't have they haven't made an official date yet but that's the update from today. Okay, we're packing, going to go get the suitcase and let's rock and roll. I love you guys. We don't give up. My other camera gave me a little fits today. We do not give up everyone. We do not give up here on YouTube. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Got to get my suitcase. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh yeah, gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my compression sleeves for the airplane ride, you better believe it. Oh man, I gotta pack a lot of socks for this trip is pretty long everybody, just so you know. Oh, there's the racing socks. I love my Solomon racing socks because there's a little bit of, uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off and tell you here in a little bit. Okay, I'm getting the essentials right now, and then I will pack the other non-essentials, meaning, and what are, the, what are the essentials? The essentials are your racing gear. You gotta have the good racing gear, right? You gotta have your racing gear with you at all times, yes, packed with you on the airplane, not underneath the airplane. There, I'm looking for my singlet, there it is. There it is, okay. We got the singlet, bada bing, bada boom, and then my John G. That's right, I'm a little surprised, but I'm going with my black John G shorts for the race. I just, the comfort, they feel lightweight, and this will be my primary kit uh, versus the backup kit, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Da -da -da -da. Almost forgot, might as well grab these now. Oh, there they are, the new 4%. Oh, they're feeling so good. And uh, I will pack the next percents as well in case of inclement weather, all right? I already talked about that, but let's get these guys. Okay, so things are out here. I'm gonna lay them out here on the table in a little bit. Uh, first, I gotta zip off to a hardware store. You'll see what I'm buying in a minute. Actually, one second. Let me grab, just grab something out of here. Mm -hmm. okay. Whoa, sorry. Gotta get a bottle. You better believe it. Gotta get the bottles. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, got another bottle in here. Actually, got a couple bottles in here. So, I'll show you what I'm going to do here in a minute. Uh huh. Little guy, too. There we go. All right. Let's go. Now, I would say, in an ideal world, everyone, that I would have started packing. Let's say like this past weekend. So I fly out, like I think I already mentioned, two days from today. Uh, so on Thursday and you know, it's just, uh, you just wanna make sure you have everything so you're not running around frantically. Uh, so I'm glad I'm doing this now where I'm the store I'm going to and not tomorrow or the next day because that's the last thing you want before your big peak race is to be frantically. And listen, okay, if I was doing a peak race in Colorado, it'd be a little more simple, but flying out of the country, there's passports involved and all, all sorts of stuff. So that's what I'm up to now, just making sure I'm dialed in uh, with gear ahead of time so there's no, no anxiety heading to the airport or, or, you know, packing the night before. At least that's how I like to do it. So, okay, just deep breaths and trust and 
you know, have fun along the way. Oh, baby. Just like that everyone, it is nighttime and it's frankly a little chilly out so yes you better believe I have my hot, hot tea here. Let me just get on the other side of the table. We're going to walk you through this marathon gear list and uh, for race day my first marathon and you better believe it. Uh, question of the day here in one second. Everyone, it was a, it was a crazy day. Uh, quite a few things went wrong and that's okay. You you just you adapt and you make decisions decisively to fix the problems and that's what I did. So I lost about 2 to 3 hours of uh, of my day, which is a lot of time for anyone out there. So therefore, we're just diving in right here at the, uh, let me just turn off, turn off the radio here. We're diving in right here on my table in my carport and I'm gonna lay out the gear. I've got my notes, my checklist here. Let's rock and roll. Okay, first of all, question of the day. This is my first road marathon, as most of you know. Um, question of the day, what would you pack for a road marathon? And this could be for your warm up, your cool down, during the race, after, you know, post race uh, festivities, anything. What would you pack for your road marathon, not an ultra marathon? I actually have that pretty pat down because I've been doing ultra marathons for a while now, but that's the question of the day. I need help. I'm actually a rookie at this. I, it's crazy to say that, but I am not. Uh, this, is, this is my first road marathon. So, okay, here we go. Making sure that I do not forget anything. This kit will come with me on the airplane in case my bags get lost. I've already mentioned this tip before, tip of the day. Make sure you pack your kit, meaning your singlet and your racing shorts, your racing socks, your racing shoes with you on the airplane. Just You just never know. Uh, if, a, if, if your luggage gets lost and you don't have any, I actually saw some people posting in Berlin uh, about how their luggage was lost uh, going to Berlin and they had to basically ask people for help uh, because all the stores were closed. I think this was on Saturday night. Anyway, it just got crazy. So, okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to lay out two sets of clothes here. First of all, this first set is the good weather set. Here's the singlet. Here's the shorts. Here's the shoes. My Nike Vaporfly 4% Fly Knits. My Solomon socks. John G. Shorts Rabbit Singlet. And yes, I'm gonna add in here, and you know what? I just realized I forgot one thing in the house, but I'm gonna add in this halo headband for sweat. Yeah, I sweat, as I'm, and if it's a hot day out, oh, you better believe I do not like to have sweat in my eyes. So I like to wear this very thin halo headband. It has a little piece of rubber on the inside to help keep the sweat from dripping into your eyes. I love this thing. Hold on, one second, forgot something inside. <laughs> And I'm back. Okay, what I forgot inside was the watch because it was uh, syncing with uh, Strava. So there you go. There is my watch. I will, I will wear the Polar V watch in the Amsterdam Marathon race. Now, in ultra running, I always wear a hat. Very rarely do you see anyone running because you're out there in the sun for three, four, five, six hours of running and the sun can really beat on you. But I will not wear a hat in Amsterdam, okay? Just want to make that clear. Um, but I don't see a lot of professionals. Um, you know, I've gotten used to running with sunglasses. I have sensitive eyes, um, especially when I was a kid and a teenager. Like, my eyes were really sensitive to the sun. So I love wearing sunglasses when I race, especially if it's sunny out. So I will definitely be wearing my Smith sunglasses as well. Now, over here on the right, here we go. So this is good weather, good weather right here, okay? Good weather, bad weather. Instead of shorts, half tights. These are half tights from Nike. Let me adjust the camera real quick. There we go, that's better. Okay, so half tights and then arm sleeves, my Zenza arm sleeves. So for my arms, and I'll explain here in a second, so I'm gonna put these here, and these I would actually start the race in, okay? And then um, a buff. Here we go, a very, very lightweight buff that I would probably throw to the side at an aid station, probably by mile three, four, five, as soon as I warmed up a little bit. But this buff, just to take the edge off, 
of uh, cold on my ears. So I would put the buff here, and uh, then of course the singlet would move over here, and the sunglasses would move over here along with the watch. Um, and most likely even the halo headband as well. So this would be my cold weather. Oh, and of course, almost forgot, if the, if the roads in Amsterdam are very rainy, I do plan to wear the Nike Next Percents. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that the Nike Next Percents do really well on, on wet roads compared to the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. So keep that in mind. Um, I am gonna bring the next percent if it's rainy conditions. So this would be my cold weather gear. And I am also realizing, and this is why I do this ahead of time and not the night before I'm leaving, is that I will have some lightweight gloves that will uh, put on my hands that I would also throw to the side of the road just in case um, it's cold at the start. But by let's say mile 10, I'm feeling really warm. I would just throw the gloves at the uh, at the next aid station okay and another critical piece i consider this part of the 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 racing gear lineup is yes squirrels nut butter all natural anti-chafing solve or anti-chafing cream so this is what i use squirrels nut butter it is down below in case you want to pick some up i love this it just like there's you just don't want to deal with any sort of chafing in especially in a marathon race so i'm putting this right there in the middle as a game day no matter what must have that as well okay so this is what i'll be wearing but here's the exciting thing hold on let me come over here all right everyone so last but not least of course is hydration and nutrition right so you're probably wondering why I went to Ace Hardware today. Uh, first of all, as an ultra runner, here's my, what would be my racing vest from Raid Light. Uh, if I was running a 50K, 50 miler, I would wear this. Uh, and I would carry nutrition and hydration, water, uh, gels, all sorts of stuff in this vest to keep me going in between the aid stations. Well, when you're trying to run under 219, you can't be carrying a vest. Therefore, I have discovered through a lot of help from folks out there, you know who you are, who helped me research to find the fact that I can actually place some bottles along the way in Amsterdam. This is amazing. So bottom line, I want to make sure that, and this is, did I already give a tip of the day? This is a second tip of the day, if so. So here we go. Of course, green is the favorite color. So bright green it is on this YouTube channel, this running YouTube channel. So I went to Ace today to pick up this tape and you better believe that I'm going to make sure I can spot my bottles filled with my Morton, actually, filled with my Morton drink mix just to make sure I am really dialed in to what my body is used to and what my body needs, okay? So this is my game plan, my strategy for Amsterdam. And uh, I don't know exactly how much green tape I will put on these bottles, but I do know for a fact that I wanna make sure that I know where my bottles are at the table. So here it is, bada bing, a bada boom. So there you have it, the green tape is on. And then with a, with a permanent marker, I'm gonna put my name on so everyone knows it's me. All right, Seth, I'll probably even put another piece of tape on with my bib number, okay? So Seth Demore. All right, I think that does it for tonight's vlog. In conclusion, just to wrap up, again, two kits, a kit for perfect weather and a kit for weather that is a little chillier and or rainy or windy, okay? So I've got two kits, like half tights are just so key, I think, for keeping my hamstrings nice and warm and happy. If, it, like, if, if, if the temperatures dip, just a little bit sometimes past i have found in my training past 20 miles 22 miles when i start running past those distances my hamstrings start to just bark at me a little bit so i want to make sure they're nice and warm uh, if the temperatures do dip so again a warm kit a cooler kit i got my bottles going even though i still have some more work to do tomorrow on these anti-chafing solve i got my sunglasses over there not these the other ones over there and Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, I just, uh, I'm excited. The packing is happening and we're heading to Vienna and then off to Amsterdam. All right, everyone, we're going to toss it back to some other vlogs where I actually talk about this topic of packing on the right. And then also on the left, I'm going to throw it back to the last 
uh, race that I ran in the, out in the U.S. Mountain Running Championships on the left, in case you haven't seen that uh, from a couple weeks ago. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Love you, love you, love you. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.